Okay, this is just a, this is just a great real quick story about rappers. Orlando came to New York to visit me the summer in between the first and second seasons of of Mad TV. Uh -huh. He stayed with me, and he's like, he goes, "Hey man," he goes, "What, what are you doing tonight?" And I'm like. I'm going to go, uh, I got some stand-up sets to do in the city. Why don't you come by? He goes, all right, my boy uh, Chubb Rock is living at the Chelsea Hotel. Let's go pick him up, and we'll go. We'll roll for the whole night. So I'm like, all right. So we pick up Chubb Rock at the Chelsea Hotel, and Orlando was a strict vegan. And you could oh. tell Chubb Rock wanted none of that. He gets into my car, and he's like, where are we going, man? I'm like, who are we? I said, we're going to this uh, club downtown. He's like, they got any food for carnivores down there? <laughs> Rock. We we hang with him. I do. He comes to my stand-up sets. We hang all night. So at the end of the night, Orlando goes off to some broad, and I'm left with Chub Rock. It's me and Chub Rock. And at 4 a.m., he goes, "Listen, go to West Broadway and Fourth. Uh, I'm gonna. I got a rap for this guy." So I'm like, "All right." They they took studio time at, in the middle of the night, and I'll never forget. This is the last thing he ever said to me. I had to go back to Jersey, and I go, "All right, Chub. Uh, nice hanging with you." He goes, "You want to come inside?" I'm like, "No, no, no. You, you need a ride anywhere?" And he goes, "No, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna drop some lyrics for this nigga." <laughs>